Hello, this is Alex on Pangyo, Tecto Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the second week of June. First up, Samsung SDS will build IT campus in Pangyo and establish a remote business operating system based on the cloud. Samsung SDS announced on the 30th of the last month that it had opened an IT campus in Pangyo to change its IT outsourcing business to a cloud-based remote business operating system. Samsung employees used to be dispatched to clients' companies located around the metropolitan area, but its IT campus in Pangyo will house about 2,000 employees of Samsung. For this, Samsung SDS will apply SND or Software Defined Network to the Pangyo IT campus. With this, Samsung can have safe access to clients' networks anytime and anywhere. In addition, security policies were strengthened by introducing different IT security systems for different customers, security policies, and access systems using facial recognition and intelligent video security control to prevent information leakage. Samsung SDS also announced a plan to continue to promote ITO business innovation through task standardization of converting customer business systems to software as a service and automation of operational tasks based on DevOps or software development and operation. That enables parallel collaboration between development and operation. As Samsung SDS's cloud service division head, Vice President Gu Hyungjun put it, the transition to the cloud-based IT integrated operating system is expected to become a new standard for IT operations. He added, Samsung SDS will continue to strengthen its cloud capabilities and we plan to speed up our cloud-first strategy. Next up, Cox Space will introduce a new gesture machine learning mouse called Vanzi. Cox Space, a company that specializes in human interface devices, announced on the second that it would launch the gesture machine learning mouse Vanzi through Kickstarter, the world's largest crowdfunding site. This is the second time a product of theirs has been funded through Kickstarter in 2021, it launched a ring-shaped wearable mouse, or Snowl, and raised $250,000 in funding in a month. About 2,100 people pre-ordered it, and the mouse achieved a funding success rate in the top 1% all time in Kickstarter's history. Vanzi is a product with upgraded hardware and software from the previously introduced Snow Wool. The joystick mouse function was removed, and the charging cradle is changed to a bar type to provide consumers with a comfortable grip. The issue with taking off the metal ring was also improved, increasing the satisfaction amongst users who have tried it. In addition, by improving the accuracy of gestures, it offers a big improvement in quality. Ho Young Kim, CEO of Cox Space said, from the selection of tips, ah, that's it, sorry. Ho Young Kim, CEO of Cox Space said, from the selection by tips in 2022 to the launch of Vanzi in June this year, there were a lot of good things that have happened. And I ultimately want to introduce the ring to overseas markets after registering the ring on Amazon, he added. Hanguk Tire opened Asia's largest test track, Korea Techno Ring in Taeyanggun, Chungcheong Namdo on the 25th. It tests the performance of tires for electric vehicles and supercars. It can also evaluate conventional vehicle performance, including that of trucks and buses. It has 13 tracks on 1.26 million square meters of land, or approximately 125 soccer fields. The high-speed circuit, which consists of a total of 4.6 kilometers in length and four lanes, conducts high-speed driving tests of more than 250 kilometers per hour. The bank angle is 38.7 degrees. There are various tests that can be performed on these tracks, such as long wire circuit to test tire stability, and march to performance, dry and wet road handling circuits, on-road ride comfort test, on-road brake test, aquaplaning on a straight road, test road used for traffic noise, a track for obstacles, and a track for general roads. Hanguk Tire will test tire and vehicle reactions in various environments and turn them into data. Based on this, it plans to build a digital twin, or a system that implements real objects in a virtual space, and apply it to future mobility research. For the final big story, Hancom's 
Sejong-1 to usher in the age of domestic civilian satellites. As Hong Kong Group has successfully launched the private satellite Sejong-1, it ushered in a new space era in South Korea. Hong Kong Group announced on the 26th that it had successfully laid the foundation for the satellite image data business thanks to the successful launch of Sejong-1. As we enter this new era of space exploration, a private-led space development business model, large-scale capital is being invested in discovering new energy and resources, as well as space travel in general. SpaceX and Blue Origin are competing for introducing commercial satellites and projectiles to meet private demand. Morgan Stanley has projected that the space industry market will reach $1.1 trillion by 2040. In South Korea, many companies, mainly defense companies, have announced their business plans amid global companies rushing to do business in the new space era after the successful launch of NURI. The government has also proposed support measures to promote the space industry as a major goal for Korea's future. However, Hong Kong is the first company in South Korea to actually put it into practice and achieve tangible results. Hong Kong Group plans to collect high-definition video data through space, aviation, and ground using its own satellites and autonomous drones, including Sejong-1. The collected video data will be introduced globally through an all-in-one platform that integrates management, analysis, and sales. The video data service explains that it will first target the agricultural sector, which is currently in the highest demand. In addition to the domestic market, it's going to target Southeast Asia, which is rich in agricultural industry. Also, the company plans to expand its market to architecture, defense, and education. Now that brings us to the quick news of the week. First up, when an environmentally friendly activity is verified, Together Cacao will donate 1,000 won. Cacao will give out 1,000 won for every pro-environmental behavior verified by a user in an attempt to promote Cacao's eco-friendly ESG project. Cacao's social contribution platform, Together Cacao, announced on the 31st that it will introduce what's called Everyone's Action, an action participation project where people can participate in solving social problems with small actions in their daily life. Next up, Joseon University will take the lead in nurturing software talents with NHN. Joseon University announced on the 31st that it was selected for the Software Professional Talent Training Project organized by the Ministry of Science and ICT and will be able to accelerate the training of software professionals. Joseon University formed a consortium with the NHN Academy and the Smart Human Resources Development Institute located in the region to win a mixed fierce competition. As a result, Joseon University will receive about 7.2 billion won over a total of four years. Next up, Naver Webtoon holds the world's largest contest and offers the winner a chance to publish their webtoons with a prize money worth 50 million won. Naver Webtoon's world's largest contest for webtoons was held from the first day of this month. This contest is believed to be a gateway to success amongst Webtoon artists. Naver Webtoon announced on the 31st that it would hold the first 2022 contest in the Webtoon category from the 1st to the 6th of this month to discover potential creators and new ingenious works. And that's it for the Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. I'm Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next week.